Hello, it's City Girl Homestead. It's still Sunday and I survived from getting up very, very early. <laughs> Anyways, um, tonight I am making what I call my version of um, Hawaiian chicken. So, yes, I'm going to use my cast iron. Not Big Daddy either. Or what did I call her? I don't remember what I'm calling her, but anyway. So I'm going to melt a little bit of this butter. Let it get warmed up just a tad bit. So while that's melting a little bit, um, Hopefully Tom isn't too tired after work tonight because we are going to do a video together. Like 90% almost said that yes, they'd like to see him do a video. So I'll give you a little fill in. Tom is not a cooker. <laughs> Tom makes great ramen and he can make steak, potato, or steak, hot dogs and hamburgers on the grill. That's his cooking. Now, he has done those Market Fresh boxes or whatever they were. As long as it's detailed, he could do it. So, we're going to get him into doing something so that he knows a little bit about cooking or baking or something. And maybe one day he can give Mama a break. Wouldn't that be nice? All right, so my butter's melted. Um, actually, a friend of his, when we dropped off their order from the um, Little Dusties, she gave us four great big huge chicken breasts, so I cut up, cubed up two of them. And before I add anything else, I'm going to fry that up just a little bit so it doesn't take up so much pan, and then I will be back. Alright, so now I'm going to go on to the next step. I drained out all my butter so that it could actually get a little bit of brown on my chicken. I did put salt, pepper, and some minced onion in it too as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is take some of my barbecue sauce, and you can use any kind you want. I just used what was cheapest at Walmart. I do have some canned ones downstairs, but I forgot to have Tom bring them up. So... So I'm going to mix that in with it. And I kind of want to do it in steps like this because that way you can get your, um, I'm going to switch spoons here, hold on. You can get everything with its own little taste, you know what I mean? So, I'm going to do the chicken first. Tell you what, you guys, I bought a set of cast iron pots and pans from, I don't know if anybody remembers Finger Hut, <laughs> when I was a young girl. I was out of my own when I was 17, and cast iron was the cheapest, and I had no idea what I was doing with it, and I ruined it. My ex-boyfriend's mother, she actually used cast iron, but she never taught me how to use it, so um, now I see all these YouTube channels using it, and I thought, well, there must be something to it, and I'm telling you guys, I still like my... Um, my set, but I'll tell you, for browning and stuff, I love the cast iron. Okay, so now I'm going to add some bacon to it. Looks like quite a bit of bacon. <laughs> and I'm going to mix that in with it. I was going to make um, rice to go with it, and Tom's like, no, I want potatoes, so see, he got used to potatoes yesterday, but I'm not mashing them today, it'll just be cooked whole, and then he can add his sour cream, alright, so now we've, we've coated that bacon as well, doesn't that look delicious, here, let me put the camera on just a little bit, That still goes. I'm learning, guys. I will get this down. 
Now the next thing I'm going to do is add just a little bit more sauce because I'm going to add my pineapple to it. Now I've drained my pineapple because I don't want that juice in there. And whatever pineapple's left, Tom will carry to work tomorrow with him. Oh, you guys, it smells so good. I was thinking, you know, if you wanted it to be a little bit spicy, you could add a few red pepper flakes to it. I imagine that would make it taste really, really good. Actually, you know what? I think maybe we'll do that. Add just a little bit to it. Not too much, because Tom and I are not into spice. We're chicken when it comes to spice. So I'm going to just add just a tiny bit there. I think that will add some beautiful flavor to it. Oh, yeah. This looks so good, you guys. Now, honestly, we talk about preserving our food and all that good stuff, but, you know, if you want to make it a heavier dish, you could probably add some green beans to it, or um, peas or carrots or anything else to it, so it would be more of a filler dish, too. And if you wanted to, you could add rice to it as well. But I'm going to turn this down, and I'm going to let it simmer until Tom gets home so that all the flavors go into everything. So I will be back when Tom gets home so he can do the taste test. All right, so there's his dinner. You gotta try the chicken. Everybody knows what um, potatoes taste like, Tom. He loves potatoes, can you tell? And sour cream, but you gotta try the chicken. <laughs> you gonna do anticipation? So what do you think? Tastes like pineapple chicken. <laughs> so what does that mean? It tastes like pineapple chicken. It's good. <laughs> Is it kahuna approved? Kahuna approved. Goodbye, Tom. Goodbye, Tom. Hey, tell him that you're going to be back later to do something. What? Oh, cook? A cookie? Oh, don't tell him what it is. Tell him you'll be back to do your first cooking episode, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. Bye, Tom. Bye, Tom.